I use my feet to paint, draw, and write, and paint other people's nails, and eat. <laughs> Little Sophie Green was born without arms, but she hasn't let that hold her back. I like dancing because it makes me feel happy. When my brother Connor plays the piano, I like to make up dances. The hardest thing for me to do is keep my balance. Sophie can really do basically anything any other seven-year-old can do. People will often ask, how did you teach her to do this or that with her feet? And the answer is we, we didn't teach her. She, she, that's what she had and that's what she, she used. So she's learned to adapt in, in so many ways. Sophie rarely complains about her disability. She does occasionally, and once in a while she'll get down. But for the most part, she's very upbeat and optimistic. Sophie is one of 10 siblings, seven of whom are adopted and also have disabilities. So I'll start the cook ball? Yeah. Go cook it. Okay. Whoa, Sophie got it. That wasn't bad. We had our first adoption and went over and actually saw it with our own eyes, saw the cribs lined up, saw children reaching out their arms and asking for you to take them home. Parents, Christiane and Jeremy Green, adopted Sophie from China when she was two years old. Are you pushing the buttons with your toes? She had these beautiful big eyes and they just seemed to be calling out for someone to come and get her. We actually noticed her eyes before anything else, before even thinking about the fact that she didn't have arms. Can you get up? That's pretty flexible right there. The Greens also adopted Sophie's older sister, Lexi. Lexi's blind. They do everything together. One is the arms and one is the eyes. We were like really best friends because we got adopted on the same day. And I think that's really cool. A popular student at school, Sophie is thriving in the first grade. Obviously Sophie writing is really impressive that she can write with her feet. And I was also really impressed at how confident she is. All the kids love her in class and she's like best friends with everybody. But fitting in wasn't always easy. When she first started school, Sophie struggled with the questions and looks she received. A few of the kids were really staring at her and they asked her, you know, why don't you have arms? She burst into tears. She said, I don't want to go to school. And so after that, um, I decided to go in and talk to the class on the first day. We made a little video of her showing all the things that she could do. Dogs like peanut butter. This is how you feed it. We went and talked to the children, and they were wonderful. They were very receptive. One thing that she gets asked a lot is, why don't you have arms? And sometimes she'll say, I buried them. <laughs> doctors and professionals have agreed that prosthetic arms are, are basically for aesthetics. It's just to look like other people. She wouldn't have any control over them. As Sophie gets older, her family understands she'll face new challenges, but they believe that with her incredible attitude, nothing can stop her. She has so much personality, perseverance, spirit. I don't think not having arms will hold her back from doing anything. She's outgoing, she's spunky and tenacious, she's fun, she doesn't back down from a challenge. Don't let anyone stop you from doing something you really love to do. 